In this uh, video tutorial, we shall see the logic and the assembly code to count the number of positive and negative numbers in an array. Let us first see the logic of this program. Let's say that uh, we have some array of numbers starting from 30H, right? 33H, 34H right so <clears throat> it will have both positive as well as negative counts or only positive or negative right so we need to count how many positives are there and how many negative numbers are there right so how do we check that we have to check the msb bit right so if msb is equal to one so the number is negative and if it is equal to 0, the number is positive, right? So, in an 8-bit number, in an 8-bit number, how do we check that? Let's say this is an 8-bit number. fine and uh, this is the MSB bit right so the logic is simple so this information I will get it in the carry flag right so this is the carry flag if it is 1 1 will come in carry if it is 0 0 will come in carry right and how do I do that I will use the instruction rotate left with carry right and if the carry was equal to 1 it means the number is negative so I will increment that negative number count and if the carry is 0 it means it is positive and I will increment the positive count right so let me initialize plus 1 minus 1 so when I give minus 1 uh, if you enter minus 1 while initializing in the memory window, you will see that this will store FFH. Okay. The only thing is you give numbers, if you want to give negative numbers, make sure that the MS bit is equal to 1. For example, ATH. This is also a negative number. Why? Because the MS bit is equal to 1. And let me see 2 and 45H right so if you see this uh, numbers so I have uh, one positive two positive three positive and two negative numbers right so the logic goes as uh, like this you initialize a pointer to the start address read the byte rotate it check the carry flag if the carry flag is equal to 1, increment the negative count and if it is equal to 0, increment the positive count, right? So, we shall see the code for the same. So, we we'll initialize a pointer to memory location, move r0, hash 30h, pointer to start it, right? And how many number of bytes are there? I have considered 5. So, move r2, comma, hash 5. So, this is uh, array size or block size. I need uh, two registers or two memory locations which will keep track of the number of logical ones and zeros, right? So, I will say move r6, comma, hash 00h. So, this is, uh, let's say, ones count sorry number of uh, negative numbers right and move r7 comma as 00h so this will keep track of number of positive numbers right that's it now let me read the byte move a comma at the rate of R0. Okay. Then 
I need to rotate this left because I want to check the MSP RLC A. You can either use jump on carry or jump on no carry. So jump on uh, carry, if it is a carry, it means it's a negative number, right? But if not, it's a positive number and we, in, we have to increment the positive count, which is R7 here. So increment R7. But if it is negative, I need to increment R6. And uh, most importantly, see here, uh, if it is a positive number, you will increment R7. Then you have to go for the next number. So here, most of the students do mistake. You have to skip this instruction, right? So for that, you have to write as jump next or something like this, right? Because I don't want both R7 and R6 to be incremented, right? So I have checked the first byte. I have to check the remaining bytes. So until R2 becomes 0. So that's why decrement jump on non 0 to repeat. So the repeat will be here. Right? I have done one mistake. That is, I have to point the pointer to the next location. So increment R0. Right? So this will be, this logic will repeat for uh, the, all the block size. Right? It's a very simple program. So let me initialize. Now how to initialize, I will tell you, right? Either you give uh, directly here, something like this, 80H, it's a negative number. And 45H, positive number. 32, it is also positive. FF, it is negative. F4, it is also negative because MSB is equal to 1 right so we have uh, one two three negative numbers and two positive numbers so r6 should contain three r7 should contain two okay you can even increase the array size if you want right so first i will read the first byte that is eight zero right and uh, if i rotate this carry is one it means it's a negative number and the negative count uh, counter should increment, right? So I'm incrementing R6. Next, I'm reading the next byte, which is nothing but 45. It's a positive number. So this condition will fail and the positive count will be incremented. So this is very important. See, if I had not written this, it will come here and it will also increment the negative count, which I don't want, right? So this is a very critical point. Then I will go to the next byte, which is 32, which is also a positive number. So I'm incrementing the positive count. Next, I'm reading the next number that is FF. It's a negative number. So this condition will be true. So I'm incrementing R6 by 1. The last is F4. So if you see at the end, R6, which keeps the count of negative numbers is 3 and R7 is 2, right? So this is one way. Right? The other way is you can uh, right click and uh, say modify memory at and simply give 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 2 comma 3 comma 4. So you can see when I gave uh, negative numbers in decimal, here it is automatically taken in its two's complement okay and the result will be same i will simply run so you can see there are three positive numbers so that's why r7 is 3 and r6 is 2 right so the logic is fine so that's how we count the number of positive and negative numbers